So this would be one team doing both support and development. For this setup, um, I like to go for modules and, and activate Kanban and issues. Why? Because support typically gets um, very well addressed using issues. You have severity, priority, uh, you know, you can filter, like here I have one filter that says important bugs for uh, channel number three, uh, where Peter is not assigned, right? This is just my custom label. I click here and I got it. So you get included and excluded. So this is super, I mean, this is this is great, okay? So um, you see that's, that there was the only, all well, filled by important. Uh, there's just one important, okay? So. I think um, some people actually for support can set up channels, channels where they get the, the issues uh, into the Tiger project. You can use the API, you can use Zapier integrations. There are many ways you can uh, get into Tiger and just uh, make issues appear here, or you can give access to some users just with very, you know, there are specific permissions where they can only see issues and, and, and read and write issues and that's it or comment, right? Um, so um, again, uh, please do, do get in mind that all, all the things that we can do here, like priorities, let's go for normal. And I click here, I can just circle over this. So uh, filters are very powerful. People underestimate the power of uh, filters. Um, I think when you, and you, when you get a lot of content, that's super interesting. So one thing that you can do, of course, is you get to uh, an issue. And you can see here, like this should be promoted to a user story. You know, how many times you get a bug and it's not a bug, it's a feature. Um, I mean, Taiga, you can use it for anything that's not a project, a software project, but it's good for the, as, as an example, right? It's not, a, it's not a problem, it's actually an enhancement that people are asking, fine. Um, you go here um, and you say promote to user story. You click on promote a user story. And what this is going to do, by the way, I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, promote it, promote this. It's myself, okay, because I'm lonely here tonight here. And I say, okay, promote this, user, uh, this issue to a new user story. This is going to basically clone this. It's not going to um, destroy the issue, but you can see here, this issue has been promoted to, uh, to this user story. And I have, uh, including the comments, you know, not the um, the history because this has been created now, but you know, like the relevant information and who's assigned, all that. If you go to the Kanban, you'll see here that you, you got it here, okay? I actually did uh, before. Um, this, is, this is more for like the stuff you want to build. And this is using Kanban. And you know uh, probably what Kanban is. Kanban is this is a very lean approach to, uh, get things done where you, you have to move stuff from the left to the right, uh, bearing in mind that you might have some limitations uh, or limits uh, depending on the column, okay? So you basically move stuff, like you get here and you move it here instantaneously. By the way, this is real time, so anyone actually accessing this in, 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 you know, in a couple of seconds will see their Kanban view updated. Um, we saw filters, yeah, why not again, you know, say, okay, I want to see uh, what has Peter assigned. I, I got it here, I can, I can save it. Um, but also you can use uh, the, something like this. Um, sorry, let's see, like channel. Channel could be perhaps uh, an app that you develop where people uh, just upload or send uh, reports, issue reports. And channel two, just, 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 it's just that, okay? And you see this and they say, okay, uh, let's see, zoom out and see more or less how this looks like in terms of the features that I'm developing that actually came from channel two, like a bird's eye view. This is, this is very nice. Okay, uh, that's it. That's the setup number two. Uh, we saw Kanban and issues, ideas around uh, you know channels that you can use like Zapier or integrations, and uh, promoting to user story filters and, and and such. One thing I want to to show. I, I said ton of ton of content. Why not sometimes you just get your favorite reporting tool, you get settings reports, and you can create these uh, URLs that are private, and you can use them to uh, feed into 
in this case, uh, just a Google spreadsheet, right? Uh, it's as easy as see here. You see this import data and then the URL. That's the same URL you, you were looking at. And then this is live loaded. So each time your project is updated, this is updated. And I just created two very dummy, you know, dumb um, uh, charts, so aggregate type or channel distribution, things like that. I don't know. I just wanted to share this in case anyone's like excited about using all the tools uh, to get some insights. Okay, time for questions. Hello. So Alan says, hello, after clone, I used to use story. Will it be resolved after the story was implemented? Thanks. Very good question. Uh, we we think it's better that it's not automated. Um, if you think, uh, I mean, you can use that, you can do that with other tools like Zapier, like you, you, you basically link issue closed with uh, user story closed, but Tiger does not have this idea of automatic workflow closure. Uh, nevertheless, we are considering some automations for Tiger Next, which is due this year. So we are looking into what automations would actually be super, super helpful. Now, how would you do that uh, now? You can use all the integrations to basically uh, play play with Tiger, Tiger with itself, or you can just have this simple protocol where you go and um, and when you close the user story, since it's listed the issue, you go to the issue and uh, you close it again. Uh, they are separate entities, and um, sometimes that linkage could be super weak. So we don't enforce automatic closure. But it's a very good question, and we do get that question a lot of times. 